Hello, my name is Hyunjong Kim Han, and I'm the curator of Korean art at the Asian Art Museum. Today, I would like to share with you an artifact on Korean Munja. One of the masterpieces in the Asian Art Museum's collection is this Joseon Dynasty Munja. A Munja always has the white color and round shape without any decoration on the surface. Munjars are big. They are usually between 14 to 18 inches tall. They were only produced for less than 200 years from the late 17th century to the early 19th century. Munjars have become a popular traditional Korean artwork today. Nowadays in Korea, younger generations also admire this traditional jar. Recently, the jar became more popular thanks to RM, leader of the K-pop group BTS. The moon jar is difficult and laborious to make. In the traditional society, because the white clay could not sustain the height and weight, the jars were always produced in two sections and attached together at the waist, as you see in the artist Dong Xing Li's photographs here. The joining of the two parts often left a seam on the ceramic jar, and our museum's moon jar is no exception. To complete Munjars, potters go through several steps and procedures, and there are natural defects or unexpected outcomes, which create each Munjar's unique characteristics. Some, like our Munjar, have the debris or ash dirt on the surface, which probably happened in the kiln when firing. They have a variety of white colors and shapes. Although the jars are basically spherical, Based on what happened when turning the potter's wheel or firing, many times the round shape is not perfectly round. The Munja's characteristics that embrace unexpected outcomes and natural defects have attracted many modern and contemporary artists. Among them, Hwan Gi Kim is famous for praising and collecting Joseon Dynasty round jars. He was extremely attracted to the naturalism and living quality in the jar. The major subject matters in Kim's paintings are moons, trees, birds, and the white whale jars. So it was natural for him to name the Joseon Dynasty large global jar as a moon jar or Talangari in Korean in the mid 20th century. According to historical records, before Hwan Gi Kim, the jar was simply identified as a large round jar. It is interesting to note that this ceramic jar gained its name Moon Jar two or 300 years after its creation. In our collection, there are some contemporary artworks that were inspired from or dialogued with the Moon Jar. Bun Chang-gu, an established photographer in Korea, tries to describe the lifelike, vibrant qualities of Korean moon jars. Gu's work of our moon jar here on your right captures the jar's characteristics that are not easily appreciated with the naked eye or in standard color photos. A senior local artist, Yong Jun Liu, was motivated by the new display of our moon jar in the museum. Like Hwan Gi Kim and Bun Chang Gu, she captures her own dialogue with the traditional jar in the very new series, Allegory of a Moon Jar. It is always amusing and meaningful to witness when art of the past inspires contemporary artists. Rebirth and reinterpretation of this traditional artwork continues, and its inspiration to the next generation is bigger than we can imagine. Thank you for watching this artifact from the Asian Art Museum. 감사합니다.